there are two categories. The first one, you are in a radius less than two kilometers. In this case, you have only one option to survive, and that is praying to God. If you are atheist, maybe it's the time to consider going back to God. The second category, if you are in a radius more than two kilometers, in this case, you will probably have more options to survive. For instance, first things you can do, don't look directly to the explosion fireball because it will be six times brighter than the sun. Drop flat on the ground immediately and get yourself covered by anything. This will prevent you from the heat wave and the glass shards. And when the shock waves passes, you will have about a couple of minutes until the mushroom cloud settles down. During this time, go to the shelter, take off your outer clothes and wash yourself. This will remove more than 90% of the radioactive dust. Last but not least, drink clean water, eat canned food, and stay in the shelter for at least one week. Therefore, it's recommended to have a shelter like the one in blast from the past. I hope no one needs to hear this information, but just in case, if you want to know about the radiation effects on the health, comment below. Stay tuned, stay safe.